tonight, just uh, getting out to the rallycross track after uh, doing tech with uh, Max Johnson. And literally right after we tech Jason's car, the damn thing breaks an axle. So starting off, co-driving uh, Trent's car and he's gonna co-drive with his buddies, uh, GSR Integra that's gutted. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, I think they're gonna get an a pick up an axle at lunchtime and finish getting it in there, but just crazy. Already starting off wild over here. During the event, as soon as the last car goes, whatever you want, be safe though. Um, no sitting down on course when, when the course is hot. Yeah, course workers need to be standing up, paying attention. Can't be on your phone, no taking pictures if you're out there. I you know it's tempting. You're up close, you got a nice view, but you need to be paying attention to the car, paying attention to the car number, being ready to call it in. If you didn't catch a car number, Give a good description, you know, the, the color and the kite bar and the So we just finished up our first group sessions. Um, so because Jason's car is broken, I was driving Trent's RSX and then <laughs> poor Jason was driving all kinds of random stuff. He was driving the uh, uh, Max Johnson's Mini Cooper. He did, uh, I don't know if he did a run in the Integra or not, but then he ended up doing a run in uh, Trent's RSX at the end. As you guys will see, I mean, Trent's, uh, Trent's car hooks up so much better with the limited slip versus the last time I drove it on uh, uh, an open diff. So definitely a lot of grip out here. Definitely a lot of getting used to. Not my strong suit. I'm not exactly sure which place I'm in, but fourth or fifth or something overall. Um, but definitely the two guys ahead of us, uh, well, Max and his uh, Mini is killing it. He's doing, going super fast, super tidy. And then I think the next quickest guy is uh, um, is uh, 
Harrison in the Beamer. So that's super exciting to see him doing so good in the Beamer uh, in a rear wheel drive car, of course. So go pick his drive axle up and then uh, get this thing installed in the Civic on the lunch break and then we'll be uh, making some noise in the Civic for the afternoon. So excited to try and basically get the back to back to back on the car. So uh, we're running the same track at the end of the day. We only did three runs this time. So at least we'll get to see, you know, basically what the car feels like right out the bat. So we made it. Let's go in and get this part for this thing and see if we can fix the old Civic. All right, so here's the uh, bus's little Civic. Kind of looking, kind of sad over here, but that's okay. We got the uh, bus's drive shaft and we've got a new one. So it kind of comes down to, hopefully, it looks pretty close, looks pretty similar. Hopefully this new aftermarket axle will work.
about this track. So this is how, this is their magical, uh, uh, what do you call it? Getting camera. Alignment. Good, yep. Shit, that's not it. Oh, that was it. Uh, what size is that one? That 21 didn't fit? Too big too I think small? you're good, you There's just threaded it on small. almost all the way. Right? That felt like it spun real free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it again. Hell yeah. Oh, good, good. Back. And you guys still need to, oh, you already hit the uh, torque this down, huh? Yeah. Sick. Just like that. Axle's in. Poor little thing. I think we got more time driving around and being on the phone than we do looking for this axle or putting this axle in. Oh, by a long shot, yeah. <laughs> Quick job. Painful parts on it.